50s in some spots. When we came to work this morning, Michelle, how's it out there right now? Well, it's cooled down a little bit, Patrick. We still spent the uh, night in the 70s for many areas this morning, including down in Newport. It's a nice morning out on the harbor as we uh, take a look at some of the current conditions outside. We'll begin on the Newport Harbor camp about 72 degrees. We've seen some breezy winds this morning after our cold front has come through. It's been helping to clear out the skies to bring down the humidity with a warm start this morning. It should be another hot afternoon, just a bit more comfortable for uh, students in the classrooms. So we're at 71 in Providence, 71 in Westerly. The low so far this morning are these numbers 72 in New Bedford, about 66 right now in Smithfield. We've really seen the dew point temperature falling. We started off close to 70 first thing this morning. Now the dew points at 57 in Smithfield, 60 in Providence, 60 in Westerly, 63 for the dew point in Newport, and it should fall all the way down to about 55 by this afternoon. So much lower than yesterday. We're up in that oppressive category and we'll start to see the humidity back on the rise by Friday. Another very muggy day. Those three H's back for the end of the week. Hazy, hot and humid, but a little bit of a reprieve from that today and tomorrow. So the morning commute's got a warm start in the 70s and then eventually warming back up into the 80s. Here's the satellite and radar showing our cold front moving offshore. That less humid air coming in behind the front on a west and northwest wind, which should ensure mostly sunny skies for us today. So lots of sun for the afternoon hours. Well into the 80s for highs even at the coastline today. But we're storm free this afternoon. No threat of any showers or thunderstorms, and we're going to stay that way through the overnight hours tonight. So we wake up to sunshine tomorrow, and we should be in the 60s everywhere tomorrow morning. So a more comfortable beginning to the day, and another warm afternoon as temperatures climb today, tomorrow about 10 degrees warmer than average. Where does it put us? Well, upper 80s for highs in Central Falls, Lincoln. Yesterday we ended up hitting a high of 91 at TF Green Airport. I think we'll be in the 80s today. Uh, there I'm forecasting a high at uh, the airport at 88, 87 in Barrington. Yeah, coast today into the low and mid 80s. Newport, great day there at 83 degrees. Hot sun, but not as humid. 87 Hope Valley and Wickford. And we're going to keep a west and northwest wind this afternoon. A little breezy at times in Burville, 86. Winsocket and Situa, both near 87 degrees. And those temperatures in the 80s, New Bedford, Fall River, about 86, 87 degrees. It'll be a dry afternoon in Seekonk near 88. Middletown and Little Compton today, mid 80s. Looking great at the beaches, low 80s there. Water temperatures close to 70, low risk for rip currents at the shore today. Uh, northwest winds will turn to the west on the bay, wave height around two feet. Low tide comes up at about 745 this morning. Taking a look at that seven day future cast upper 80s today. Tomorrow notice the overnight lows will be a little bit cooler 65 to start the day Friday by Friday afternoon mid 80s and yeah, the muggies are back by Saturday going to be tracking a stronger cold front than the one that came through last night. That one will give us the risk of a shower or thunderstorm. We're going to be timing that out more towards the end of the day, so it's certainly not a washout. The late day and Saturday night may see a shower or storm and it looks like we'll start off with some extra clouds out Sunday morning, maybe a shower early in the morning and then clearing skies much cooler uh, for the second half of the weekend and into early next week as highs top out in the mid 70s. Get that updated future cast WPRI.